used. Today I'm going to show you how an electric bell works. An electric bell, how it works is how does an electric bell work. An electric bell works. Or how does an electric bell work? Fine. Now we first look at the parts. Let's have a look at the parts uh, of an electric bell. Or maybe we first draw it. Good. Um, the fact that it's an electric bell, it means it has have to have the source of current. Let's assume the source of current is here. Positive terminal. Let's have it like this. Let's have the, the positive terminal here and the negative terminal here. So we get our conductor moving like this. Two soft M materials just like this. Here is something that keeps them in touch. So, this is my conductor wire, conducting wire. Come like this. We assume it has passed behind a soft iron. And it comes like this, passes behind. Comes, passes behind, comes, passes behind, and gets out like this. Reaching there, it passes behind, like this, like this, like this, like this. Reaching here, the way it has got to come down like this. Now, the conducting wire from the negative terminal comes and meets this wire at a small junction which is held strong. And on this junction, there is um, a, an iron strip connected to this wire, iron strip, like this, and it's on this iron strip that we attach a hammer. We place the gong, you shall see the pump of this part. Now, <clears throat> let's see what happens. At a point, maybe here, a push switch is included in the circuit this is the battery this is the battery can i get another marker here okay now okay this is the battery and the fact that this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal, we expect this to be flow of current. Flow of current. Current flows from positive terminal to negative terminal. This is our push switch. Now I want to see how the how the current flows through this current comes passes behind in the conductor and here it is moving like 
this and I know that this it passes behind comes it faces this direction so this will show how current is flowing inside here is soft iron soft iron even this is soft iron good this is a gun and this is our hammer Iron strip. What we want to have is a simplified electric bell because very many make it complex and they fail to interpret how it works. Now let's see what happens. When this switch is completed, step number one. Complete the switch. When you complete the switch by pushing it, current will be allowed to flow through this conductor. And the flow is indicated by these arrows. This one shows that current is flowing through this conductor and um, what happens to these um, soft ions is that should the current pass through to them they will get magnetized and when they get mag magnetized automatically here they will build electric field. They become magnets and they will have to pull the iron strip upwards. When the switch is pressed, these two iron strips become magnetized and they pull this, this copper strip upwards because of the magnetism generated. But along the way, before the strip has reached here, there is a gong. So this hammer needs a gong on its way and hits the gong. Because the function of the gong is that the gong produces sound. So it completes the switch, number two. Um, Soft iron gets magnetized. Soft iron gets magnetized. When it gets magnetized, it pulls, it attracts the iron strip. Iron strip. is then attracted the iron strip is then attracted by the magnet along the way as it is moving up it meets the gong and it hits the gong then uh, let me grab this and then use this As the, cup, as the iron strip is attracted by these two magnets, along the way, as it is coming up, 
it will be intercepted by the gong. So the hammer hits the gong on its way up because it is attached onto the iron strip. So we say iron strip is then attracted by the magnet. Next. On its way up, comma, the hammer attached the hammer attached hits the gong. The hammer attached hits the gong. And what happens to the gong? The gong produces sound. The gong produces sound. Simple. That's how the electric bell works and there's nothing special. The gong produces sound. The hammer hits the gong. Um, after the iron strip has been attracted by them, the magnets. Yeah, these magnets are temporary. When you push this switch, you are allowing current to flow. These two will get magnetized, thereby attracting the iron strip. Should you leave pushing the switch, the circuit will be broken. And what happens? These two iron strip, uh, soft iron materials, will lose magnetism. Can be the soft ions become <coughs> temporary magnets. Soft ions become temporary magnets. Temporary. Temporary magnets, meaning they lose their magnetism immediately. You leave push, you stop pushing the switch, and that makes this iron strip to go back because there won't be any more magnetism in these two. Thank you very much. This is how simple the electric bell works. Very simple. Oh, in future we shall have some questions about it, but for now. You have to understand how it gets, it works, and then later we'll see how the, the probable questions about this, which are very easy to pass, the fact that now you know how it works. Thank you.